Ideas, and this is your Monday Morning Brief. I wanted to share with you this great book that I actually had a chance to try out. It's called Amy Butler's Stencils, and included with an inspirational booklet, there are these awesome, huge, beautiful, plastic kind of heavy-duty stencils that are die cut that are included in the book. Now, I've had so much fun today. I've been literally ransacking my house trying to find things that I could stencil with more fabric paint because that's how much fun it's been. Um, I took just a regular canvas bag that I use for grocery shopping. I added this really cool circular design. Um, I took this really neat messenger bag that actually I got at a trade show. It had an advertiser sort of cotton... Um, uh, screen printed uh, piece that was sewn on so I removed that and then I stenciled it this design in white and I wasn't too happy with that so what I wound up doing was taking some tulip slick paints dotting the design and then with the paintbrush blending it in to kind of create this really neat almost oil painted look and I love it I love it so much I just think it's so beautiful and I'm kind of proud of myself that I did that so um, so that was having some fun with fabric painting today. Um, I also took this shirt that, if you would believe it, had a stain right here. And um, I stenciled this really neat design on. And so once that dries, I'll be able to wear that. So I just, I really wanted to share with you this really cool book. Um, and I'm so happy I had a chance to play around with it today. There's some really great application ideas um, for all sorts of services. Not just fabric, but paper, uh, glass. I mean, it really just varies on what type of paint you use. And then, of course, the heat setting method. Now, I really love using the uh, tulip line, the soft and the slick paints, because um, with most of these, it's just it just entails uh, drying time before washing, and you don't have to heat set that with an iron or uh, with a hair dryer or anything like that. So um, it's just a little tip to keep in mind. But um, if you do get a chance to check out this book, I, I think you're going to love it. It's so addicting, and it was so much fun. Um, if you have any tips on stenciling, or if you've stenciled a great project recently and you'd like to share with us, we'd love to see it. So you can send me an email at amymick at amospress.com, or you can always leave a comment on the video, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. From everyone here at Craft Ideas, we hope you have a wonderful week. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.